Hi, you're with Chandeep at Gurli, and I just wanted to talk about one of the recent dashboards that I've just finished working on. Now, this dashboard is for Indigo Airlines flight schedule. I was just browsing through uh, some information on the web and I found uh, that Indigo Airlines was sharing the complete details of their flight schedule. So what I did was I downloaded that into Excel uh, and I thought of making a dashboard with that information. So this is what I have come up with. The first thing that I want to do is uh, I want to take you through that how the dashboard works and what all functionalities that I've built in the dashboard. And then I'm just going to talk about specific techniques uh, that I've used to actually build this dashboard. So let's just get started. Uh, well, this is uh, pretty straightforward. You have a header here. This is nothing but the text. Uh, this is my own logo. Uh, we have a map here, uh, which is dynamic and it works when you change the slices here. And this is a list here. So let's say the first thing that you get to choose is uh, flights. So flights from or flights to. So you can pick up anything you want to say there. You want to say that I want to see flights from and you can pick up any city from this this list. So let's say if I want to see flights from uh, Chandigarh, I can just click on Chandigarh and uh, this map updates. So you can see that from Chandigarh, there are 16 flights to all these locations. And if you want to take a look at the list, you can take a look at the list as well. These are 16 um, flights that fly every day. And this is their departure and arrival time. And you want to filter down this map and this list even further down, then you can pick up, you can slice it down even further and you can pick up that via Delhi or Hyderabad or Mumbai, or you want to see only the direct flights. So I can just click on direct and there are only 11 flights which are direct from Chandigarh, which are going to any of these locations. And then you can further filter down by frequency that do you have daily or do you have it on Sunday? So it's on Sunday, there's just one flight which goes from Chandigarh to Delhi, right? So that's how the entire thing works. You can also flip it over from, from to the to tab. And when you click on that, you will see that to any particular city, let's just also select uh, Amritsar once again here, so Chandigarh. So in Chandigarh, uh, all these, so let's just unfilter that. So there are 18 flights coming to Chandigarh, right? So from all these locations, right? And you can see there is a little legend here. The uh, empty circle is from, and the filled up circle is to. So these empty circles are actually from Mumbai to Chandigarh. And then you can filter down again, you know, here. So that's a little dashboard that I've made. So I'm going to show you that uh, how the data looks, which is sitting at the back end and also going to show you that what all cleaning process that I did with the data. And I'll also show you a bit of techniques that I followed to actually make this dashboard. All right, let's just go and take a look at how the data looks. So I'm just going to go over to the data sheet. Now, if you just take a look in this uh, view, we do not have the sheet tabs available. It's because I have uh, hid the sheet tabs. I'm just going to leave a link to the article which shows you how to hide the data tabs, the sheet tabs, sorry. So I'm just going to use the shortcut control page up to go and take a look at the data. So this is the data that I downloaded. And when I downloaded the data, I found that there were uh, a bit of inconsistencies with the data. Uh, let's say, for example, in the frequency column, you have Monday, Thursday and Saturday all written in the same cell and for which I wanted three transactions or so three rows. So Monday is going to be a separate row and then the same flight is going to fly on Thursday and then the same flight is also going to fly on Saturday. So I just wanted to clean up the data a bit. Plus there are a lot of empty columns here. So for all the empty columns, I wanted to write direct here because this is going to be a direct flight. So I uh, uploaded this data in Power Query and I cleaned this data like this. So this is uh, what I got after I processed the data in Power Query. Uh, next, uh, I also um, found out the latitude and the longitudes of each city that were mentioned in the data. Uh, for me to plot the cities on the map, I would need this information. So this is a separate table. This is the uh, data which is cleaned using Power Query, the same data. And this is some dummy uh, data as well right here. Now let's just take a look at uh, the calculation sheet. Now I'm not going to uh, go in deep uh, explaining you every calculation. There are a lot of calculations that you can see here that I've made for every element of the dashboard. Rather than that, I'm going to speak about the dashboard in itself and talk about the major concepts used in the dashboard. 
and through that you'll be able to understand the technique i'll also give you a link where you can read about in detail uh, the integrities of the techniques that I've used. This dashboard is majorly divided into three segments. So the first segment here is the chart itself, uh, which is which is here. Um, and if you just take a look at the chart, uh, I have actually written a very detailed article on how to make a map chart. So how you can plot the cities on the map and how you can uh, make it look like this. The thing that I've not covered in the map chart is how can you make these connectors from a single point to the other points. This is something that I learned from um, a guy named Roberto Mensa and his website. Um, I can't remember the name of his site, but I'll leave a link to that. And that's where I learned this from. Uh, the next thing is, uh, is the scrollable list. So let's say, for example, if I pick up any city, uh, let's say I pick up Bangalore. So there are about 98 flights that are coming to Bangalore, right? You can see that from different locations and 98 uh, flights cannot be adjusted in this location. So there's a scrollable list here. You can scroll through and you can take a look at, look at all the, um, you know, uh, flights in the cities and all the information from here. Now, uh, how to make this scrollable list, I'll give you a link to that and you can take a look at this. This is one segment of the dashboard. And the final segment of this dashboard is the slicers. And these are smart buttons that you can use uh, to dissect your pivot tables because there are a lot of pivot tables working at the back end and I've used the slicers to dissect them. So I'm gonna give you two things here. The first thing is uh, entirely, if you do not know how to work with slicers, I'll give you a link to that and you can read about slicers. And the second thing is that I'm also going to give you a trick that how do you actually manage multiple slices in a dashboard? So if it looks to you that there are like f three or four slices in the dashboard, you're wrong. So just take a look here. When you click on from, uh, there's a different city, Chandigarh. And when you click on two, there's a different city, which is Bangalore. Why? Because there are not just one slicer here. There are like multiple slices here. So you can see there's a slicer here and you can see there's a slicer here. You can see there's a slicer here. Now what I've done is uh, I've used a small VBA code to arrange the slicers, uh, which comes in the front and the other slices goes at the back when you click on these two buttons, right? So when you click on from, the from slices come on the front. When you click on two, the two slices come in the front. So that's how it looks to you that the slices are just two or three slices, but there are more slices into play. Whenever you have more slices that you want to arrange in a dashboard, you can use this trick. I'm going to give you a link to that and you can probably take the entire um, VBA code and learn from that resource. There's also a video in that. All right. So this is the dashboard. Uh, I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, please do let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and bye-bye.